Hello everyone, welcome to the Flight Sim Deck. We're here in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and today I want to talk about what I am using for head tracking. Now we're in the San Francisco area around Alcatraz, and the app is called Face Track No IR. And what it does is it, it kind of fools the simulator into thinking you have track IR. And to accomplish this, you just need a webcam, and the app itself is $5. So if you already own a webcam, you're just $5 away from some really good head tracking. And it, it scans your face, and it basically follows your eyes and your nose. And wherever you turn your face in the view of the webcam, it will turn your head inside the cockpit. And it's really functional in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I've used it in all the simulators. And I think so far, I would say it's the best in this simulator, or at least up there with some of the combat sims. It seems to work really good in those. And yeah, you can just look up and down, all around. I'll show you my settings in just a second. But it's uh, it's really smooth and really, really functional. So the camera I'm using for this is the Logitech HD Pro Webcam C920, which I paid $60 for it on sale, but I noticed it's very expensive now. I think you can get it for as low as $80, but a lot of stores are selling it for over $100. But any modern webcam will do. I purchased my webcam years ago so I don't really count that towards the investment into this but you don't have to spend a whole lot on a webcam just as long as it can do 30 frames per second it should be fine for this uh, but you know allows you to lean over look down look up all around and really good especially if you're doing uh, like any kind of pattern work or flying with your friends works well so this is what the app looks like I'm currently using 30 samples for the smoothing I have inverted the pitch and the x-axis and that's that's all I've done for this section and then into the curves I'm using all the default curves except the roll I turned off completely but the roll does activate when I turn the sim on so to turn it off I just up the curve and then drop it and then hit OK and it turns the roll back off but I don't like the roll it's just basically your, your head rolling side to side and I don't like using that and I'm using all the default uh, tracker sources but this is all I'm doing, and uh, this is how it's set up. And you don't have to have the camera in the view. I just have it here so you can see how my face is turning with this setup. And that's really just how it works. But I, I have it off to the side, or you can have it minimized while you're using it. Recently did a uh, air racing video around Reno. We did a live stream, and I was using this, and really helped with that because you have to constantly be looking all over the place, looking for other aircraft. So a few of the final points I want to make about this. The camera I found is best to have kind of centered with your face, but if not centered, even a little bit below. Actually, I actually have my camera kind of below my face looking up. I had it clipped on top of my monitor looking down at my face, and I, that didn't really work too good, but having it below my face seems to work really good. Um, having good lighting is important. Usually your monitor, the way it illuminates your face, that should be enough lighting, but if not, have another light on just so the camera can see your face and track it good. And I also get asked too, like, how do you do this if you're turning your head? How are you still seeing the plane? Well, you get used to it really quick and it's really slight movements of your head while you're still having your eyes locked on the sim. So you're kind of, you're glancing at the sim, but you're turning your head and you get used to it. It, it works really well in that way. If you want to learn more about the app, I did another video covering a few other simulators all in one, uh, also showing me uh, using it at my desk. So if you want to check out that video, I will link it in the description and you can check that out. Uh, but that's really all I can say for this. I enjoy using it and like I said, if if you already own a webcam, you're already you're just good to go. It's five dollars to get this and uh, and even if you have to spend forty, fifty dollars on a webcam, it's it's still cheaper than TrackR, which is around one hundred and seventy dollars for the full kit. But it's uh, it, TrackR is still good. I mean, if you want to spend that, you're always welcome to do whatever you want. But for myself, I like using this method, already owning a webcam and all that. So, uh, but yeah, that's really all I can say for this. I really hope this helped you out and you're able to uh, get it working in Microsoft Flight Simulator and and be able to look all around the world as you fly. So, all right, everybody, you take care. I will see you on the next video.